So, after lots of speculation, we finally got the reveal of the mythical Pokemon of Scarlet and Violet, and the mysterious Peach Pokemon from the Teal Mask DLC. Petrurunt is a mischievous little fella who is the leader of the Loyal Three, and who possessed and controlled them in an effort to steal Ogre Pond's masks. But what if Petrurunt could control more legendary Pokemon as well? Well, in this video, we're gonna take a look at what that could be like, so let's go ahead and check it out. So these possessed forms are about to be a lot of fun, but they couldn't have happened without the support in part of today's sponsor, Dave. Dave's support helps make videos like this possible, and they can also support you when you need to get that bread, as the kids say. Whether it's recovering from the holidays, or life just doing what life does, all of us could use a little extra cash sometimes, and Dave is the banking app that's leveling the financial playing field. When you download Dave, you can get up to $500 in 5 minutes or less. No credit check, no late fees. It's part of Dave's extra cash account. Advance the money when you need with no interest, and then settle up later. Essentially, Dave can help you out and come in clutch when you need some extra money for life's unexpected moments, but don't really want to wait around for that paycheck to come through. If that sounds like something that interests you, you can download Dave today at dave.com slash hoops. That's dave.com slash hoops. You can get up to $500 in five minutes or less when you download Dave. No credit check, no late fees. Download the Dave app now or go to dave.com slash hoops. For terms and conditions, go to dave.com slash legal. Eligibility criteria and instant transfer fees apply. Banking services provided by Evolve, member FDIC. And again, a big thank you to Dave for supporting the channel. Alright, so first and foremost, I gotta give a shout out to my good friend Oscar Belmonte, who drew the artwork of these designs. And as always, be sure to check him out with the links in the description, because he does great work. The first legendary we're going to look at here though is Mewtwo, and if Mewtwo gained a possessed form from Petrurunt, this is what it might look like. Mewtwo is obviously looking a lot more sinister now thanks to the effects of the Toxic Chain following in the footsteps of the Loyal Three. And also just like the Loyal Three, it has also gained the Poison typing as a result of the Toxic Chain, making it a Poison Psychic type. Its ability is also changed to Toxic Chain as well, just like the Loyal Three, which I think is a fun part about this concept as a Pokemon form, since in this case, it essentially gives you a Mewtwo with a whole other ability, and a great one at that, that it wouldn't otherwise have. Not to mention, it also has that added Poison type as well. In this form, the Toxic Chain emanates from Mewtwo's head, as its mind and psychic powers are what Petrurunt wants control of. It also gains a primarily black color scheme to fall in line with the Loyal Three, who are also primarily black in color. The other thing I thought would be good to change about these possessed forms in comparison to their regular counterparts are their stats, because what good is a different form without some adjusted stats? In this case, this is especially fun because for the stats of Petrurunt and the Loyal Three, the number 8 is very important. The Loyal Three all share an HP stat of 88, and every one of Petrurunt's stats, other than its defense, are also 88. These four Pokemon also learn their moves at levels that are multiples of 8, so it's an integral part of their designs. This could possibly be due to the fact that the number 8 resembles the links of a chain, like the toxic chain that controls these Pokemon. And it could also be because, according to Bulbapedia, the number 88 can be read in the Japanese Gorowase wordplay system as terrible or dangerous but it can also be interpreted as the sound of clapping, as if they're being applauded, which describes these Pokemon's overall role of false heroes with sinister motives. 
Anyways, due to this significance on the number 8, I thought it would be cool to give each possessed form that we cover here today a stat boost in one of their stats to 188 to connect them to this overall theme. In Mewtwo's case, I have decided to bump its special attack stat from 154 to 188, symbolizing the psychic powers that Petrurunt wants to harness and control. This also gives Possessed Mewtwo an overall base stat total of 714, which is excellent obviously, but still below its mega forms, so it's not too OP. And that, my friends, is Petrurunt controlled Mewtwo for ya. But we've got even more legendaries to cover today here as well, so let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And that next one is actually a pair of legendaries, and it's none other than Koridon and Miraidon. With Petrurunt and the Loyal Three being introduced in Scarlet and Violet, it's only right that we see what Scarlet and Violet's box art legendaries could be like with possessed forms of their own. And with that said, this is what Koridon and Miraidon could be like with the possessed by Petrurunt treatment. Now, these ones I think are really cool and really sell me personally on this whole idea, especially with how Koridon looks. It's not just their appearance that sells me on this though, it's an idea that I've come up with for how this could actually work in-game that I think would be really cool. So, since we know that Petrurunt has this ability to sort of possess and control people in Pokemon, I think an amazing way of implementing these forms into the game would be to have a roster of Pokemon that are capable of having these forms, like Koridon, Miraidon, and Mewtwo, and make it so that if you battle these Pokemon with Petrurunt and capture them after using Petrurunt's signature move on them, Malignant Chain, upon capturing Catching them, they will be transformed into their possessed form. I think this would be super cool and would make for an amazing post-game quest. Like, imagine if they used this as the way that they made all the legendaries obtainable like they have in the past few previous games. And some of them had the new forms and some of them didn't, so you had to go around and battle and catch them all with Petrurunt to be able to see which ones had the new forms, and every so often you would find one that had a new form like this. That's obviously not going to happen at this point in the actual games, but I think that would be incredible. You could even introduce some type of serum or cure item that would revert the legendaries back to their standard forms if you wanted the original version too. Even if it's not going to happen and probably will never happen, I think this is a really cool idea and I would love to see it actually happen. Back to Koridon and Miraidon though, in these forms they would also get the Toxic Chain ability, just like Mewtwo, and would become Poison Fighting and Poison Electric types respectively. I wanted to make them Poison Dragon, but as counterparts, I thought they should have a difference in the type department, so that is why I went with these types. In Miraidon's case though, it works out perfectly because the electricity emanating from its body literally becomes poisonous in this form since, as you can see, its electricity has been sort of infected by the toxic chain. Koridon isn't left out of this though, because true to its fighting type, it's become a lot beefier. And this is where, arguably, the coolest part about these designs shines through that Oscar added in. And that is that due to the added levels of punk and villainy that have been added to these Pokemon as a result of their possessed forms, they have now been made to resemble bikers compared to the bikes that they resemble in their base forms. You can really see it shine through in Koridon in particular, and I honestly think that's a super sick feature of these two, so shout out again to Oscar for that one. Finally, we've got their stats to cover, and following the idea that we covered in the Mewtwo section, Koridon's attack would get boosted up to 188, representing its fighting type, and would give it an overall base stat total of 723. Meanwhile, for Miraidon, I would do special attack, but we just did that for Mewtwo, so I would go ahead and raise its speed instead to 188, which gives it the same overall boost as Koridon and the same base stat total of 723. 
Honestly, I thought this would just be a fun idea to cover in a video, but I kinda convinced myself that this should actually be a thing with these two, and how you could go about obtaining them with Petrurant, like I said. So you'll have to let me know what you think about that in the comments below as we move along to our next Pokemon. Rayquaza is the next Pokemon we are going to cover here today, and this is what possessed Rayquaza could look like. Unlike the Paradox Duo, Rayquaza is able to take on that Poison Dragon typing, which I think is awesome, and it's also got all of those same cool features of the other legendaries. It's got the Toxic Chain ability, it gets that black color scheme to follow in the footsteps of the Loyal Three, and the patterns that run along Rayquaza's body have changed into the links of the Toxic Chain, and they actually make for a pretty seamless change, which I thought was pretty cool. Stat-wise, we obviously already know how busted Mega Rayquaza is, and it doesn't get much less busted here, I will admit, as I was thinking that I would raise Rayquaza's special defense stat to 188, but that raises it a whopping 98 points, giving it a base stat total of 778, which is just two points below Mega Rayquaza. That is probably a bit too overpowered if I'm being honest, but I'm sure all the Rayquaza fans out there would gladly welcome this kind of strength. And hey, we're combining the power of a legendary with a mythical here, so of course it's going to be powerful. That is what a possessed form Rayquaza could be like though, and that's what it could be like if we got more legendaries with Petrurunt controlled forms. Like I said, I convinced myself that this should be a thing, but what do you guys think? And what do you think about the Scarlet and Violet epilogue if you've played it? Be sure to let me know in the comments below, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and subscribe for more if you haven't already. With that said, I'll be back with another new video very soon, and until then, as always, thanks so much for watching this one, I really, really appreciate it, and I will smell you guys later.